here she emerges. And here she is. I began measuring and then I stopped measuring. I just drew it onto the paper. It's even harder on watercolor paper to get clear lines because of the texture. And I'm highly eerie about how on earth am I gonna depict that in these details with color. I'm awaiting the command stop, do something else because I don't feel this is gonna work out. As I draw and intend to amend uh, corrections from, from last time, it's, I'm desperate. <laughs> I am absolutely desperate. They are so tiny, these lines. And then this paper, it sometimes doesn't allow me to actually do a straight line because it kind of like makes me fall. It's like little rubble mountains. It makes me fall on them. I don't know, I still wish to have my, my abort, abort mission. Since I don't even know how to handle after the graphite too. I looked again, there is no way to, you know, some paintings you can put fine liners on all around. But look, the mouth, for example, doesn't even have a line. It's just the shading which makes the difference. I also haven't been fully committed yesterday to make the hairlines. I just wanted to give a general idea and actually I was all wishing I could just do not that tiny version of it. So if I wish to do that, I must give the row. No. You get the idea. I think these little curl hairs are annoying to me. I need to do that. I like it more wild, but yes, let's find out what happens next. So here I am working my way through. And yet there is an amazing advantage to think that I might not do this. That means if I might not do this, then I can free my hand. Otherwise, if I wish to have it exact, then I have to measure each line and that takes a little bit out of the joy and absolute fun.